ladies and gentlemen, fasten your seat belts and prepare your taste buds as we embark on a relentless journey through the kingdom of brews. Welcome to the realm of intoxicating flavors and head-banging beer reviews. What's up, everybody? It's the Ginger Yeti, and I'm getting some beers in at home. So what I have for you today is Manchild. This is a peanut butter and jelly inspired sour ale with grape and blackberry. That's a mouthful. It's got a cool can art, uh, Nintendo controller, a bunch of different squiggles and doodles on it. And this is from Hidden Springs Ale Works out of Tampa. And it's a collaboration with the Thirsty Toffer, which is a bar in Florida. I believe they said it's in Orlando. And I've been looking forward to this beer since I saw it this evening. I was at Rosie's, looking over the beers, saw this, and went, man, that sounds just outstanding. Now, I'm going to complain. Rosie's always puts the damn price labels on the mouth of the can. I picked this up for $4.85, and I hope it's worth every penny. When I'm tapped, it gets a 4.07 with... 5.7 thousand check-ins on Beer Advocate. It gets a 92 outstanding, but it only had 24 check-ins. That's kind of an odd color. That is very pink. Uh, that's definitely not on the SRM chart there. And what I'm going to do with this one, since it's a 92 outstanding, I think I'm going to reach over here and grab Friar Joseph's book. And use his rating system on this one. Because in his rating system, if it's a 45 or higher out of 50, it is an outstanding beer. So I'm going to go with that and see if this lives up to that since Beer Advocate said it's outstanding. So for color, being a peanut butter and jelly inspired beer, appearance here, I would definitely give that a 3. Because that's the color I'd love to see. Nice, big, fizzy, fizzy head. And it's dissipating rather quickly. Like again, you look at that, that color. It's a nice pinkish, almost jelly-like color. Almost like rosé. And my, my pen... I can't talk. My pen is rolling away. For aroma... That's surprising. It's mainly peanut butter. I mean, you get, but it's not peanut butter. It's like a peanutty smell. But you do get some, some, some grape jelly or grape jam kind of smells mixed in there. Maybe even a little bread crust. That almost smells like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. So aroma, I'm definitely giving that a ten. On to the flavor. Cheers, everybody. Yeah, you get the... You get the peanut butter. You get some sort of, of, of berries, kind of preserved, jam, jelly. a lot going on in there yeah peanut butter jelly a little bit of sourness and you get a little bit of that peanut butter again on the back end like after you eat a peanut butter sandwich and you can still kind of taste the peanut butter in your mouth you get a little bit of that on the back end so for flavor yeah i mean it's true to what it says i would like the sourness to be a little bit better but one to twenty I'll definitely give that a 15. Mouthfeel. Not much there. It's light body. Uh, maybe I want a little bit more in the mouthfeel. A little, a little more of a medium body, but... It's a light body beer. Give that a 3. And, you know, overall, again, 
peanut butter and jelly inspired sour ale with grape and blackberry. I think you hit the mark on this one. Yes, yeah, so overall, I'll give it an eight. Let's do some quick math here. 25, 36, 39. Huh. Make sure I do that math again real quick. 25, 36, 39. Yeah, I'm giving it a 39 out of 50, which according to Friar Joseph's book is excellent. I do think it's an excellent beer. Didn't hit that outstanding mark like Beer Advocate. I do think it's an excellent beer. I'd give it a horns up. $4.85 a can. Not too bad of a price. I didn't see a... Oh, here it is. 5.5% alcohol. No alcohol flavor whatsoever. This would be a nice dessert beer. Yeah. Excellent beer. Excellent horns up. Hope you think my video is excellent. Have you had a peanut butter and jelly beer before? If you have, what do you think of them? It's kind of a, a different style, different, different flavors in beer you don't expect. And, you know, trying some of these different sours and other things, it's always an adventure. And once again, make sure you embrace that adventure. Peanut butter and, like, maybe even some grape jam. That's definitely interesting.